I always broke them, I'm afraid, Glenn. <laughs> Good evening. 130 years ago today, Captain Matthew Webb made history. He became the first man to swim across the English Channel. Now, since then, there have been no shortage of swimmers keen to follow in his wake. Today, I met the latest challenger, Jamie Thompson, from Pegwell Bay in Kent at a popular training location in Dover. Just two years ago, Jamie would have struggled to swim a couple of lengths at his local pool. It's more than 20 miles from Dover to France, a quick trip on the ferry or a massive physical challenge through the waves of the English Channel. Jamie Thompson was a virtual non-swimmer when he began training for the challenge, which will take him up to 20 hours. He's doing it to try to raise £10,000 for the charity Practical Action, which works with poor communities. It started with a couple of depressing lengths in the pool where I had trouble finishing those and then uh, it came to my qualifying swim last Sunday where it was uh, six hours I had to do in front of an official to qualify for the uh, swim this Saturday. And it gets to the stage where you're just uh, very tired but I mean it's not uh, an aerobic tiredness, it's, 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 it's a muscular thing you have to overcome and, uh, and see what happens on the day really. More than 800 swimmers have successfully completed the trip since Captain Matthew Webb set out in 1875. And according to modern theory, he did everything wrong. He swam breaststroke, wore a swimming costume that weighed 10 pounds when it was wet, and drank beer and brandy to keep himself going. But many of the problems faced by today's swimmers are the same. Half of all attempts to swim the channel fail, sometimes with tragic results. Hypothermia is the big one. Uh, you have to acclimatise yourself over the, uh, the last few months before you do it, which involves a lot of cold baths, just, just floating in the sea and getting your body used to that. Uh, Exhaustion is a big factor. Uh, people have sunk and been washed up in Belgium, unfortunately. It, 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 it's, a, it's a real problem. And jellyfish are the stings you can get along the way, and uh, ferries, of course, in the way, which the pilot takes care of. But there are those who just keep trying. Alison Streeter has completed the crossing more than 30 times. Here she is after one of her attempts. It doesn't matter what time you do, as long as you get there. Every single time you go out there, the conditions are different. You've just got to finish, no matter what. Inspired by the swimmers of the past, Jamie Thompson hopes to set off for Cap Brunet in France on Saturday, if the conditions are right.